In the US, non-surgical procedures to shrink thyroid nodules are pretty new. And so most of the time when I mention these acronyms, people don't know what I'm talking about. Today, I'm gonna give you all of the details, so stick around. If you're new to this channel, please take a moment to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon because navigating life with nodules can be a nightmare. And if you need a GPS, this channel can be your guide. Let's get started. So just what are RFA and PEI? Well, they are non-surgical, minimally invasive procedures. They're used to treat thyroid nodules. They can treat autonomously functioning thyroid nodules and they preserve natural thyroid function. Let's talk about the basic differences between these two procedures and which one might be best for your nodules. So first, let's talk about RFA, which stands for radiofrequency ablation. You may have heard of this before in reference to treating back pain or even liver tumors, but it was just approved in the last year in the US for treating benign thyroid nodules. It's been used outside the US for much longer with tremendous success. Radiofrequency ablation is used to treat solid and mixed nodules. It's an outpatient procedure that uses local anesthesia so you won't be put to sleep. The procedure lasts between 30 and 60 minutes typically and has a very short recovery time. This procedure has a very high success rate and a very low complication rate. Most nodules will reduce in size dramatically in the first 30 to 90 days. Large nodules, however, might require multiple treatments, but most nodules do not regrow when they are treated properly. The doctor uses a very thin needle, which is connected to a machine that conducts radio frequency into the needle. This is inserted into the nodule and guided by ultrasound. The doctor will insert the needle through the middle of the thyroid and then into the nodule, and then deliver the radio frequency into the nodule, which burns it from the inside of the borders and does not affect the surrounding thyroid tissue. Once that section is ablated, the doctor will move the needle to another area and continue to ablate, section by section, until the entire nodule is treated. During the ablation, sometimes patients will feel a popping sensation as the nodule is being ablated. From what I understand, this is normal and actually a good sign that the nodule tissue is ablating properly. Typically, patients can go home after an hour in recovery and pain is managed well with over-the-counter medications. I personally had an RFA treatment done on a very large thyroid nodule in mid-July of this year. I was given a small dose of anti-anxiety medication prior to the procedure, which really helped to calm my nerves. The procedure lasted about three hours, a bit longer in my case than usual because of the large size of my nodule. But I didn't mind, I was comfortable the entire time. And in total, I was at the hospital from about 7 a.m. until noon. After that, I went back to where we were staying and just rested the remainder of the day. And I was able to eat normally and slept propped up for a few days after that. If you'd like to hear the entire story of my RFA procedure, check out this video in the YouTube card where I recount my entire RFA experience. Now let's talk about PEI. PEI stands for percutaneous ethanol injection and is used to treat cystic nodules and recurrent cancer lymph nodes. This is another outpatient procedure and doesn't even always require local anesthetic. It's very quick, lasting about 15 minutes, and there's no need for patients to be observed or have bed rest after the procedure. Usually, patients will see an 80% reduction in the size of their nodule within the first 90 days after treatment. This procedure is very well tolerated, has a low complication rate and a high success rate. Some larger nodules may require multiple treatments, but there's a very low risk of recurrence when nodules are adequately treated. The doctor will use ultrasound to visualize the nodule and then slowly inject the alcohol into the nodule. In some cases, the existing fluid is extracted first and then the alcohol is injected. The alcohol is left inside for a few minutes, which kills the inside of the nodule within its borders and does not affect the surrounding thyroid tissue. After a few minutes, the contents are removed and the nodule cavity is washed. I personally don't have any experience with PEI, but a patient in our Facebook group called Thyroid RFA and PEI Testimonials 
recently shared her experience with PEI. She said that the procedure was quick and basically painless. Afterwards, she experienced some minor swelling and some funny sensations, but that resolved within a week, and after that, she said she was feeling great. Now, she says that her nodule is no longer visible and doesn't cause any more symptoms, and she's very thrilled with the results of the procedure. Who exactly are these procedures meant for? Well, first of all, do you have benign thyroid nodules? Do you have thyroid nodules that are visibly noticeable or causing compressive symptoms? Do you have nodules that produce thyroid hormones? Are you refusing thyroid surgery or are contraindicated for it? And most importantly, are you really wanting to preserve your natural thyroid function? If any of these are the case, then you might just benefit from one of these procedures. Where do you go to have RFA or PEI? There isn't a tremendous number of them currently, but there's a growing list of doctors who perform these procedures in the file section of our Facebook group. If you'd like to find a doctor near you, the link to the Facebook group is in the description below. If you're still hungry for more, you can start off by subscribing to this channel. I post new videos weekly about nodules. Head over and join the Facebook group. There's a wealth of resources there about these two procedures. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. I share there anytime I learn something new. And coming up in the next video, I'm going to make a big announcement, so stay tuned for that. You don't want to miss it. As always, make wise choices with your one body and always be your own health advocate. Take a look at these videos here and I'll see you next time.